Now look, I'm nobody that's a professional at Genshin Impact and I don't know a lot, okay? Compared to what a lot of other YouTubers do. But I am someone that has spent a lot of time into this game and have a lot of experience and have built quite a few characters myself. So I do know that when I tell you Sucrose is one of the best supports in the game. Nay, she may be the best support. Basically a baby venti. And when I tell you that you need to build her, if you are free to play and you do not have any other 5 star support, you need to build yourself a Sucrose because holy crap, in and out, do a little bit of extra damage, a little bit of a little bit of seasoning onto the onto your main DPS. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, okay? So, let's get into the build, right? Okay, so usually I do a showcase at first, but I can't do that right now for Zucros simply because it's very difficult to show you a, um, like a burst support showcase her their damage i would have shown you at the start of the video uh some little clips of me doing some damage with her burst with her ultimate and uh, that's basically essentially what you're gonna be getting out of her right so straight into the village yeah let's not even waste no time i only have her at level 69 <laughs> right am i right uh, <laughs> uh, anyway yeah so 69 out of 70 you don't even need to raise her this high just get her at 60 out of 70 but let's get into the stats Right, we have the elemental mastery of 238. That's very good. If you couldn't tell, most of our people you won't be getting elemental uh, elemental mastery that high. You need elemental mastery for her, okay? Elemental mastery is a big thing. You don't need to worry too much about the attack. Okay, you don't need to worry too much about crit rate, crit damage. You can, but you don't need to. Energy recharge is 139, could be better, but it's not that deep. And then animal damage, blah, blah, blah. Typical stuff, right? Onto the weapon next, we want either Sacrificial Fragments, I'm using that, or you can go with A, the Mapa Mare. Yeah, one of these. So either Mapa Mare or Sacrificial Fragments. The difference being that Mapa Mare will basically increase your elemental damage for 10 seconds by a certain percentage, right? Whereas um, Sacrificial Fragments has a chance to end the cooldown on your uh, on your E, on your Elemental, uh, on your Burst, right? So I prefer that so that I can use her E pretty much three times in a row because I do have her Constellation up. So I have two instead of one uh, Burst available. But with this, there's a chance that the cooldown will get reduced so i can do it three times in a row like every other time i'm doing it basically right as for any five star um weapons i'm not actually entirely sure i honestly think the four star ones are probably the best for her um i don't even have any five star kylis so i'm not entirely sure let me know in the comments if you do know if there's any five star variants that are better for her but i'm trying to keep it as free to play friendly as possible so yeah those two are definitely the best ones to go for artifacts you basically want to go for Vedas and Vene and you want to again like I said go for elemental mastery I don't have very good elemental mastery on her I literally this isn't like I like I do with a lot of my other builds I don't have her built properly and a lot of my artifacts you, see, you can see here uh, they're all still level zero right so I, actually, I literally just grabbed these off of um, Venti. So I'm not going to go over them individually. Uh, like mainly substats. Obviously you, you're going to have HP on the flower. Attack on the plume right. And then on the sands of Eon. You want attack percentage. Same as any, any other one. You want animal damage on the, um, on the cop. Could go for elemental mastery if you really needed to if it was that deep that you don't have good enough elemental mastery you could literally just dash on a cup that has elemental mastery but i would suggest against it i might be wrong again let me know in the comments like i said i'm not an expert on any of this i don't really know exactly what all of this this stuff means but 
like as you can see i don't have um that elemental mastery cup and i still have 238 which is i do know is actually quite high i say that's not too bad and then last but not least you know you can go crit rate or crit damage on the cup on the sorry not the cup on the headpiece basically standard stuff across the board really uh but yeah like i keep saying get elemental mastery as high as possible maybe dash in some um what's it energy recharge so that she can have her e up constantly and if you have her constellation up like i said the first constellation will give you an additional burst um to be able to use so instead of one you'll be able to have two and if you're using sacrificial fragments there's a chance that you have three so with a high with a higher energy recharge you'll be able to do three of your bursts and that should be enough to get you enough energy for your um ultimate so that's li it's literally that simple so yeah you just want to go four piece uh verdescent veneer build as much elemental mastery on some obviously obviously try to get attack as well you do obviously want attack percentage because at the end of the day that's what's giving you a lot of damage and obviously as usual go for animal damage bonus on your cup and crit rate crit damage on your headpiece but that's not entirely necessary because critting isn't that deep like i keep saying she's a support so she's not going to be you're not looking for big numbers out of her right she's not going to be giving you the dumb dumb damage that you're going to be getting out of like the luke or you know Bado or whoever right any main dps it's just there to add a little bit of a uh, damage slowly chipping away constellations don't even touch the normal attack i just i don't know why i have why it's even at level three honestly <laughs> like don't you, you you're never gonna normal attack with her it's as simple as that okay just get the e up and the uh the q up the ultimate and the burst is all you need you don't need to worry about the normal attack at all so yeah quick rundown elemental mastery just run that to the ground elemental mastery like as you can see she's level 69 and pretty much basically she's level 70 not even a thousand attack and it's not that deep as you can see from the clips earlier i'll, I'll throw some in again now she does decent swirl damage like i said it's just it's just that little seasoning that little extra kick right to uh to 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 add to your gameplay to add to your little damage that you're already doing from your main dps and then on a sacrificial fragments or a map i would suggest myself sacrificial fragments uh because it, it, you can reduce the cooldown you can basically end the cooldown and then artifacts four p four piece uh verdescent veneer uh obviously run animal damage bonus run crit rate or crit damage but like i said it's not that deep you can run attack if you need and um you could also run uh elemental mastery also if again like i said you don't have very good elemental mastery you can do that and then constellations aren't needed c1 is very is is actually quite useful i can't lie c6 does very does help a lot especially for your other characters but again it's not necessary and then talents just the ultimate and the burst don't worry at all about the normal attack because you don't want to be normal attacking with her she is it does it's puny damage but yeah that's 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 it for the secret cross build uh if this helped you out then you know leave a like I'm, I'm i'm trying to i'm trying to get myself out there uh i've been getting some very good support recently on the videos which i'm going to be taking to assume that you guys are enjoying the content so um so so thank you for the support i guess uh and you know subscribe and stay tuned because i still have one more build for the uh or in, in a few days time which is noel because he's the last one of this um of the spanner and then when the next next banner comes out i'm gonna build everyone on that as well that's that's how it's gonna run from now yeah but yeah <coughs> until the next one i'll see you guys in the next video take care peace